What's going on guys, Ryan Baggett here with ChatGPT Builder and today I've got a good one for you. This is a quick tutorial on how you can integrate your chatbot with Google Sheets. I remember back in late 2019, 2020 when I got really serious about building chatbots for businesses, Google Sheets was my best friend. I was able to take data from social media like Facebook and Instagram. Google Sheets was one of the most powerful ways that I could prove chatbots were worth their weight. And today I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can too. So let's minimize my, my head here and start building. The first thing that we're gonna to need to do is to integrate our Google Sheets account. It's very easy. Head over to settings and integrations. Click Google Sheets and connect. Here you're gonna sign in with your Google account. You need to grant access to the app so that you can tell the app what you want it to do with Google Sheets. So just click allow. And that's it guys, it's that easy. Next, let's go open up a brand new Google Sheet. Here I've got one called Chat GPT Demo Video. And so for this chatbot, let's put our HR hats on, human resources. And let's go ahead and think about what we would want to capture during a job interview. The first thing that comes to mind would be the date, the date that you're gonna receive the information from the candidate. Then you're gonna want their first name, their last name, their email, I think that's a given, their phone number, and we'll say question one, question two, and then question three. Um, you can capture as much data as you like. Now, how do we build this? You're going to find that with ChatGPT Builder, there are many, many different ways that you can achieve the goal. So there's not necessarily a right or a wrong way, but there is a, a faster and more efficient way more times than not. But use the way that works best for you. Let's call this Google Sheets Demo. We'll click the block to select it. Click it again to open up the working window here. Click Add Content. And let's go ahead and hit them with a GIF and say um, Apply Now. So we've got an apply now GIF. Let's go ahead, move my head out of the way and let's um, give them some text and say, are you ready to apply to work for? And here's a, a trick if you're going to refer to your name of your business as your Facebook page, for example, it's, you could just choose um, the page name. So are you ready to apply to work for the page name? In this case, it would be for chat GPT builder. Let's click add button, click it again to edit that button. And let's make the title apply now. And we can just hit save. What you can see here is when the, the user sees the first message, it's going to say apply now as a GIF. And it's going to say, are you ready to apply to work at page name at chat GPT builder? If they click apply now, We've got the second part of our flow here. Let's click add content again, choose get user data. And we're going to just say, um, in this case, we need to know their name. So we're going to say, please type your first name below. Okay. And we're going to click edit. We are not looking for the email. Instead, we're looking for text and we've actually got system fields for you. So you don't have to create a new field yet. Instead, you're gonna go here and just choose first name, save, okay? Let's ask the next question, which will be, thanks, please confirm your last name. Same thing, edit. We want text and we're looking for last name, which is here, save. We're going to do the same thing and let's get the email. Perfect. Please confirm your email to continue. All right. So in this case, we don't need to do anything because by default, we're looking for the email. That's the most common thing people are, are using the get user data function for. And let's now ask, um, we'll say, thanks, please confirm your smartphone. Okay, so we'll click edit again. This time we're going to choose phone. I know you can choose number, 
But if you choose phone, we're, the system is going to check to make sure that the number is valid. So choose phone, save. So now we've got the first name, last name, email, phone number. Easy as that. And what I'm going to do here is kind of break it up just a little bit so that we can kind of see a little bit better what's going on. So first things first, they're going to see the GIF. Are you ready to apply? If they are, they hit the button. What's your first name? What's your last name? Confirm your email, confirm your smartphone. If they get that far, let's go ahead at our next block and let's make this one an action and let's tag this person employee lead. Let's just, um, we'll make something up there. So I asked chat GPT, what are the three most common job interview questions? Tell me about yourself in one, two, two sentences. In this case, guys, we are going to create a new custom field and we're going to call this question number one, because remember, we've got question number one over here. We're going to end up matching the answers up on that Google sheet. So question number one, and it's just going to be text. Okay. So question number, oops. So question number one, we're looking for a text reply and we're saving what they reply to us in the custom field called question number one. So save. All right, that's question number one. Let's ask question number two next, which is what are your strengths and weaknesses? And the last question is, why do you want to work for our company? All right, so at this point, guys, they've given us all the information that we require for um, this, this to be done. This is where the integration with Google Sheets comes in. Let's go ahead and drag over a new line to create a new block after they've given us that last piece of the information. We'll click Add Content, and then we'll click Actions. In this case, we'll choose Google Sheets, and we'll click the Google Sheets action here. We need to then select the spreadsheet. ChatGPT Demo Video is the name of my spreadsheet here. And so that's what I selected in my account. The worksheet is worksheet one. So I've got all of the column titles here on the right hand side that match here. And so let's fill that out. The date is going to be captured based on the last interaction. That'll give you a timestamp. First name, first name, last name, last name, all the way through. And question number three. So now you've sent the information to that Google sheet. Maybe we want to send an alert to management. In this case, we can click add content and we can choose actions. And there are many ways again that you could do this, but we could choose notify admin. And so here I'm going to notify myself, notify Ryan, and we'll say, this is um, where it gets really cool in my opinion it's very nerdy data oriented but you can use custom fields in any part of the, the flow builder basically so I'm going to alert myself because I'm um, HR right that someone has just filled out the job application full name just applied go to the inbox and I'm going to give myself the inbox link and so what, what that's going to do is when someone is applied, I'm going to get an alert with the full name of the person that just applied and a really quick, easy way to go to the inbox so that if I like what I see within their answers, boom, I can go ahead and um, send them a text message or an email or call them, whatever I need to do. Let's go ahead and send one more final block and say um, thank you. And let's hit them with a GIF again just because that's fun. Thank you. And we'll say, um, thanks. We'll be in touch. Okay. And so that's it. So step one, ask if they want to apply. Step two, ask the basic contact information that you're going to need. If you do like the answers that you're given throughout the rest of the interview, when they give you all those answers, you're going to hit them with a tag. In this case, that tag is called employee lead, which just made it up. Once they're tagged, they get the next step immediately. Tell us about yourself. What are your strengths and weaknesses? And why do you want to work for the company? We're going to then send that information to the Google sheet. 
notify the HR manager or the owner or multiple people, as many people as you want, and then give the applicant a thank you message and then say, we'll be in touch if you're a good fit. So let's test this out. Hit publish. Always publish your work to make sure it is going to work. Let's get the published link. And so we can choose where we want to test this. In this case, let's go ahead and just use the web chat. So I've copied the web chat link. What we'll do here is we'll go ahead and test this out in a new window and we'll click apply now and we'll go through the questions. And thank you. We'll be in touch. So we, we finished the job interview and let's go check the Google sheet and boom, here's all the information. And so guys, that's it. It's that easy to integrate your chatbot with Google Sheets to send data. And if you guys want any specific videos, specific tutorials, be sure to let us know. You can hit the chat bubble. Be on the lookout for the next tutorial soon, and we'll see you later.